If I a pit in the middle of all this kind of makes you wonder, doesn't it, with all the fire damage around here? Got thickens. It'd be so miserable to hike in if it was like January. Because as you can tell, there's no shade. No shade for days. Game really annoyed with me. Come on, Hyun. Hey. Oh, I got the water. Flan, don't even dare go down there. Come on, bring the. Such a typical coon hound behavior. Huh. Lon, I got him. We made it to the river. But it's kind of interesting here, and my look exactly the same as everywhere else. It does look the same as everything else, but at least here, we have a bunch of butterflies. But you probably can't see because I'm moving the camera too fast, but it's really kind of small. Here's Kroonhoon. about this trail they did a really really good job of marking it um, you see one every once in a while not too much to be annoying but they did a pretty good job sand does not only belong on the beach here in Florida we have it everywhere make the trek kind of slippery at times not too bad here though Another round discovery, tires buried in the ground. I only see three of them. So we've been trekking for a while now. Getting really tired. Seems like around every corner is where the river is supposed to be. It almost feels like we're lost, but we see marks, so we're good. I just found out looking at the map that I took a picture of before leaving that we passed the river actually because it was not directly on the right place trail um, comparing it to the instructions I had. I've been following the places instead of the instructions so we completely missed the, the river so we've been kind of trekking along without a break because we kept thinking it was around the corner. But the interesting part about this part, this part is not open um, all year round because they use this for hunting. This is actually a water management area. This is not a traditional park. So they have hunting seasons and so the areas can get into. Um, next weekend they're actually closing it off. So we got lucky with the weekend that we picked. It's really hot for March though, we're kind of dying. So we are about to find some shade 
and take a break that we should have taken a long, long time ago. Uh, we're pretty beat. I've been getting kind of crouchy. took our break and I felt amazing on our way back we are still in hunting country and it's amazing also how white sand is here oh my goodness a new maze flan very amazing almost like it's snow huh. guess sand is southern snow off we go almost home Scenery has changed again and now it almost looks like some sort of enchanted forest which has been a nice change means more shade I have to say the second part of the journey has been a lot more enjoyable than the first um, to me because we know <laughs> here we are on the trail but and also the sun is sort of sitting so you see all these cool shadows shadows everywhere. Very pretty. I've come across a meadow. How lovely. I'd rather be walking over there in the shade though. It feels looks really pretty. I'm not gonna try to get any more lost. But you can definitely tell spring is here. Look at all the green. And look at the coonhound. Yeah, I've seen so much of coonhound bud today. All right. Tally ho, let's keep going. The scenery has returned to whole like pine trees. So hopefully means we're gonna be done soon because I'm starting to see some rain clouds. Ew! Don't want to get rain on. I did bring a rain poncho. Part two. But still. Whew, ready to be done. We're starting to panic a little bit. Because the storm is really moving in now. You can hear it. And we are still not quite sure where we are at the trail. Oh boy. Never been so happy to see road. I think I would have really enjoyed this trail the second time around. But, by now, I'm happy to get out of here. 